Hello and welcome to today's episode. Today I'm on the navigation bridge and I'm going to give out the standard phrases of the IMO in regards to hand steering. This is very important to know. All seafarers must know what the actual orders mean. And the reason I'm doing this episode is since we have a lot of incidents worldwide with vessels running aground due to mistaken uh, hand steering, it will be a good opportunity to point out and highlight which are the correct orders to be fully understandable through this video. So stay tuned and have a look also from the insight from our steering gear room where I'll have the actual uh, steering displayed on this video. So all the orders should be um, called out on the bridge nice and clearly in English, not any other language, and to navigate the, uh, the vessel safely with the orders that the master or the pilot gives or the officer on the watch. So the person standing on the steering gear stand needs to read out, the, uh, to tell out the uh, orders that the officer has gave them and execute the order. In case that we see that the person, the helmsman, is not replying to her orders, then we should question him the uh, orders that we have given to him and wait for him to reply back. In case that we see that he's not responding, then we need to change the helmsman and um, that's usually done if we have cases of fatigue, which many cases this has led to vessels running aground or uh, having collisions. So in case we ask the helmsman what's the heading, the helmsman has replied back, my heading is degrees. So depending on what degrees he is, he has to reply back to the officer or watch or the bridge officer. So now in regards to midships, the uh, rudder has to be placed here where I'm sitting at in midship, neither to port, neither to starboard. Port 5, as always, when I'm here on the bridge, if I want to go to the port side, I retract out my... Uh, a hand to the port side and if I want to go to the starboard side I will retract my hand to the starboard side so port 5 midship we'll put it in the middle and starboard 5 so now you can see the video a full length from port 5 up to hard to port um, and you'll see how it goes port 5 the person who gives the order says it port 5 then a helmsman replies back port 5. Port 10, the helmsman replies back port 10. Port 15, same. Port 20, port 25, port 30, harder port. Then back to midships. The steering wheel is brought back to midships. Then we have starboard side. Starboard 5, starboard 10, Starboard 15, starboard 20, starboard 25, starboard 30, hard to starboard, midship. So when the vessel comes in midship, then we can give a heading that we wish to uh, provide to the helmsman in order to provide uh, a good hand steering and execute the order of the steering, which can be a course. There might be a course, there can be um, can be a landmark. You may require that the person keeps the forward mast towards a landmark, something which is uh, fixed uh, outside. You can request them to keep it in between the middle of the buoys if there's a channel. So these are the ways that you can provide the orders. Nothing to port or starboard means that we have to avoid allowing the vessel's head to go to the port or the starboard. Meet her means check the swing of the vessel's head in a turn, which is not quite often. Steady is reduce the swing as rapidly as possible, which means if you hear the order of a course 160 and your uh, vessel rate of turn is coming to port, then you have to put the rudder on hard to starboard. Let's say if you're 161, 61 degrees, you will have to put the rudder starboard 20, starboard 30, so that she comes and keeps steady on the course 160. So the, the following is easy to 5, 10, 15, 20. So this means that say if you are 30 degrees to starboard, easy to 5, you'll come to 25 degrees. If you say 
from 25 degrees easy to 10, then you'll come to 15 degrees. Then if you say easy to 5, you come down to 10 degrees starboard. So this is another order that you need to follow. Another thing that we can do is that keep the port buoy or mark on our port bow or on our starboard bow. So if you have a buoy and you want to keep it on the port bow, then you'll need to steer a little bit more to starboard so that it passes from the port side. Or if it's on the starboard side, you will need to steer more to the port side. So when you finish with that, then you have the uh, uh, order which can be given, report if she does not answer to the wheel, which is when the vessel's speed uh, is not a good speed and the uh, minimum uh, speed of the vessel cannot accommodate the steering, then we need to report that, which is report if she does not answer the wheel. The wheel is not responding, so you need to say that. Finish with wheel is when we finish with the wheel, most probably if we'll drop anchor, if we finish with the uh, uh, berthing, then we'll put finish with the wheel and no more steering is required. Thank you for watching today's episode. I believe I made some things clear and will help you out in your future. So to all of you out there sailing, safe seas and stay tuned on this channel. Take care. God bless. Bye bye.